luck, Dust2 will be the first to pay five. All right, straight into things here. Now Sports will be starting on the T side. Fnatic will be starting on the CT side. And at the top of your screen, you can see the GG dot bet odds favoring Fnatic. The Swedes going into this one here today. Bolton over towards the B site with Flasher on the pistol round three towards long to do with any early aggression. And the utility that has been bought right now on the mouse board side of things, we have P250 on the hands of Carrigan. One's also been dropped across to Romps, who has that with armor. And Christian Carrigan, Carrigan also have smokes and flashes. Now they're posted up in a default right now. Do you remember that simple P250 raid boss on train? That was like, nutty. It makes sense to be putting it on Rops. I really do like the... The priority of utility enabling someone to kind of grab themselves a bit of a P250 drop for an armored member of the squad. Looks like a little bit of an inquisitive glare from JW, but oh, does he continue here? There could be a window where JW really ruins things, but Bimus is at the back with the bomb. Backs are turned as well. W executes Carrigan. That's utility gone straight away and a P250 hitting the ground. Oh dear, oh dear. Henry Greer. 60 seconds remaining. And now starting to perhaps go back to the drawing board. Still so many gathered in the middle, and these jiggles from Bim... Is it Bimus, Bimus? Uh, I think it's B... Uh, Someone just tweet us. Bimus, I Bimus, I want to make sure I say it right. And for now, suppressing shots do start to corral them towards the B site, where Golden has been paid... Oh, dear. It's going to be perfect. They either have to go through it... Oh, or just shoot headshots through the smoke, I guess. Golden does have a kit here on the B site, and they're just throwing bullets down range. Fresh clips, but body... Starting to drop for Mouseport. It's only frozen in the sight. He's gone too. And a very convincing pistol from the Swedes to start us off. I'm really questioning myself because I know I've been saying it right the whole time. Bimas. I'm pretty sure it's Bimas, yeah. Like, okay, it's like Christmas, but instead of Chris, it's just B. Yeah, I am I remember because Stryker was explaining it to Bimas. me. He's, it's a, like the, the way that you would do the, the mask bit. We don't actually have that naturally in the English language. So it was uh, one of those ones, but... A pistol round, very well done for Fnatic to kick things off, and that was all on the back of JW finding the opening frag and making things a little bit awkward, but we're straight into the force by here. Towards oh, Long will be frozen. Very ambitious, he is going to be flamed out. And swinging wildly, wild flashbang, that's just the death sentence, and there's more where that came from. Double up. Problems for Mouse to start this one, and starting proceedings in middle is Carrigan. It's a world in which he catches one of these, but, oh, presenting his back so wide. That's the end of him. Rox has hit a bang scout shot to perhaps stay a little competitive, but unlikely unless, and that is a big unless Chris J just goes full YOLO. He is charging up to B. There, there's been space left by Flusher here. So they're happy to give up the plant. Interesting. Bomb will go down, and if Rob's posts up towards the back of platform with that scout, he could be getting some tags on players coming through the window or the doors. Chris J. Oh, okay, there's a scout shot. Now oh, things are starting to get leveled up. The B bombs are very difficult to retake. This is really, I mean, this is all their M4s as well. There's only a kit on Brawl, and if he was to go down, now Flush has gone too. This is a 2v4 to save the day through the door. Crims gives it a good go, flashing to keep him at bay. Let's not forget the kit was squandered on Brawlin's corpse. What a great turnaround. Rops on the scout, ladies and gentlemen. He might even get the last one here. No, Crims. Doesn't have the time or the health for this one, but he's managed to try and keep it as close as possible. Chris J chipping away for an extra 600 bucks and may even grab the M4 as well. That is a wonderful turn of events. That's a wild round for them to win when it didn't really feel like they had any chance to do so. Posturing forward, going aggressive, trying to level the playing field. Well, that was the agenda for Rops here. And that's how he kicked things off to allow the mid to be split to come on through. And that one onto JW is when you know the rotation for the other players coming up the ramp becomes difficult. It becomes frustrating. It's like, well, if he's fighting with a scout, he can get the tags off the 70 damage. We're in a bit of trouble, but the force by back on the other side of things. And Flusher, he wants to try his hand with the scout himself. Chris J straight out long. Nothing to contest. The smoke won't really achieve too much. And the CTs are well and truly aware of it. Just a scout to contain, and that was a B. I'm starting to understand Dust2 now. I mean, I know it's like one of the simplest maps, and obviously I've been playing it for thousands of hours. But yeah. It's just watching the pros play it repeatedly. It does seem like you act, You have to be doing what JW is doing. Like the best teams are always just stealing space, denying it, locking in these T sides. There's a lot more all ins involved. And you can see as five of them are aggress long, Frozen jumping across first and takes a heavy blow. Down to 36. Brolin using that smoke as a temporary wall, vulnerable perhaps to a walkthrough on that right hand side of his screen. 
No shots starting to connect. Yeah, great shots. Bemis first. Smoke's on short. Not really too much they can do to contest this. Yeah, I might just want to try and hold on to these deagles and upgraded rifle here for Flusher of the scout. The way back in is, well, there isn't one. We can see they're rotating way right now. They're trying to hold on to these. Executing through the tunnels. You've got JW just outside long. The mouse sports don't have to go for any of these frags. They could all exit towards the long doors or jump in towards the back of the pit, just be far enough away from that bomb explosion. And on well, round number two, it is posted right now. Just have to wait another 20 seconds for that bomb to go off. So Flusher hanging around, see if any damage can be done. As we can see, nothing will be going down towards the tail end here of round number three, but it's some action pack Counter-Strike to kick it off. We've got the four spies galore. We were missing that in uh, some of our previous days here. Yesterday was pretty brawly, I thought. It was, wasn't it? Spirit Fnatic game was also pretty brawly that we uh, had going on just the other day as well. It's hard to kind of characterize and quantify some of the team styles. I mean, we're just, ooh, nice necklace from Chris J there. I didn't catch that. It was a kind of a, b b oh, about to be sound terrible. Let me get it right. I was about to say bedazzled, not one of my Dazzled? Before. No, but it's like um, a jemmy, jemmy skull. A jemmy skull. Okay. At least I didn't say artsy, Chad. No, that's all right. We, we save artsy for certain types Ooh. of people, don't we? Ooh, 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 ooh. All right. Hey, lots of flashes long. Same as before. So they get long control, and this is going to be name of the game as we head through Dust 2. Basically, there's a couple of approaches that teams will go for. There's the default spread that you'll see with multiple players over towards the tunnels, usually one and one or two, one dealing with upper dark, one dealing with lower dark. Oh, this Molly from Brolin. He's going to be pushed out of place very quickly here. Going to have to skedaddle or go down. So BMS will be taking his head off. This is one of the more recently evolved into the meta plays of just going for long and maintaining that long control time and time again. Oh. Holden through the smoke grabs one. Great. Damage is done. Yeah, great crosshair placement. Look at Frozen. He's down to... Oh, oh, he nearly got two of them. He tagged up Frozen into Bemis as well. Golden's such a nuisance. They can't find him. Hiding in the smoke, ready to strike for another. This is going back and forth. The Force by Wars are a lot more interesting than I'd initially imagined. But with 3 HP, it will fall to Rops to save the day. He's already done that in the second round of play. Survive, Frozen. Get that smoke down, Frozen, and he will. Woo! And you'll find a headshot as well. Suddenly, Crim's realizing this is not so ideal. And as soon as he fires off the shot, oh. if it's lethal, two of the bullets connect. That is going to sour the mood in the Fnatic camp. They are working with, this is some crazy math chat, I know, 12 HP between them. Holy moly, we're going to have to get the statisticians to check that, but... Crimson has a real rough time now. The fact that he didn't land that shot means that he has to hit two more. But there's the first. Now over towards Pit will be Rops. Oh, yeah. No kit here. Surely Rops can pull the 10-second bluff here. Time's just not on Crimson's... Oh, the scout. There's a world where he just mantles and tips Rops isn't doing Rops anything. Rops his bluff. Now he could have a chance, and that's the end. Whoa, Rops, he's had back-to-back -back impact rounds. We're four rounds in. He's already sitting at a majestic fragging total. Six frags, two triple kills in the round. That tag onto... Let me see, yeah, let me see this. Look, 25 Ooh. through the corner, and then he hits the other as well. Golden nearly won that, and he has no idea. And that's Godden. Godlin. Godlin. <laughs> with long hair. With long hair. No, I think that's a full face app. They did oh. a proper gender swap. Oh, okay. All right. Now then. I learned about the apps last night. You did. Chad, I can't we'll talk about it later. This is a real round. Um, smoke on long. So a different look now from Mouse. Yeah, this is that default spread I was just prefacing before. So in the previous rounds, they've just gone for the all-in long, using their flashes and utility to beat the CTs at their own game, getting control of a pivotal part of the map, and then the squeeze begins from the start of the round when you go for long control. But in the default, they have one player basically dealing with each of the avenues. What are your cues for that default to, to change? Is it exclusively kills or free space? I mean, you go through the paces so you know the angles that they could be picking and uh, you'll be using flashes to push those right. corners back. This Flight smoke paths. here to give you the ability to go up towards Xbox. And you're garnering map control and Crims with a lot of damage through the door onto Chris J. The nade, it's not going to land. Chris J will get away. But 4 HP to kick this one off. So often see Orpa's holding that angle, but Crims is so comfortable to just sit CT and hold it. Vigilant. Orp on Carrigan. T-side Orping. What's his intentions here? Very intrigued to know how he pulls this one off. It certainly is the perfect weapon for the job of forcing someone off of that goose and ramp position. How much can Crims contribute from that box? As long as he baits and they don't look towards Brolin's position, there is a chance. Uh -huh. so 
Oh, he's waiting for the drop down here, so Brolin's on his own. And here they go, dropping down. Here's the sound cues. Crims looking for the element of surprise, and not today. Gray screen, Frozen eliminates. And now all on to Mr. JW from Long. It will be multiple aim chills. He evades the flash. And again, does do CT side. Now Lang, Chris J's been working on this one for a while, just to really, really pepper them. From both sides, repositions, another great headshot, and a good looking T side so far. Good, simple, clean counter strike here from Mousebots. The default, the mid control, the cat control, the execute onto the site. Everything was how they needed it to be. And Fnatic didn't have any utility to play spoiler. They couldn't drop a Molotov. They couldn't put a smoke in their face. They can't slow them down. They just had to rely on the aim jewels. And unfortunately for them, well, they were flashed. They're out of position. And Mousebots well and truly knew where to be looking. So four to one. Economical round will be coming through for the Swedes as they just have some upgraded pistols into P250s and Deagles. Some HEs and a couple of those nades towards the long doors. So Frozen gets tickled on up and that information will scuttle on through. Now for Fnatic here to make this one possible, they have to hope and get right place, right time and strike with these pistols while the pants are down. Yeah, JW poised but caught out. Long space gained info as well. Rops could be juking it out with Flusher elsewhere, but the majority of this assault advancing towards the side. Now Carrigan will draw his first frag. Round six, coordinating his squad and now contributing as well. Anyway, those apps. Yeah, dude. I so couldn't the, believe it. The, the, this whole... It changes the, the whole structure of the face. Yeah. You can... You can any blemish, any, anything, you can completely change the way you look. So I've been doing it like normal the whole time. I should be I've got to up my game. No, I think it's just, I mean, I don't think it's like seen as socially acceptable. It's just like, you know, taboo. Oh. Like, because it's also the unspoken undertone of, yeah, well, you know, your self-confidence is low and this makes mm. you feel good. It's just, unfortunately, you start warping your own image to thinking that that's how you actually look. No, that, that's where we come into some problems. Now, yeah, in, I, was in, I was in Tokyo at the start of the year uh, when we still were allowed to travel. Oh, back in the day. Uh, yeah, back in the day. So I went there for New Year's, but uh, one of the things, I, I spent a lot of time in the arcades there. And I noticed in the arcades on most of the, on the basement levels, there were these areas which men couldn't go down into without a, a woman with them, right? In a lot okay. of these places. And they were like photo booths, right? They were ah. and and, and they would, there would be, you know, a plethora of women down there doing these these Selfie. photos. Yeah, and it was like a full day out. They're straightening their hair and doing all this kind of stuff. Oh. Wow, this is such a such a unique thing. Yeah. Like, I, I'd never seen that before. I witnessed that before in my life. So I thought that was, was quite curious in my time in Japan. If that's the strangest thing I saw, maybe I didn't see enough. <laughs> yeah, perhaps. Yeah, the, the whole beauty filter thing is a bit peculiar. And... Uh... And Chad didn't know it existed. So no, I'm learning. It's a nice breakthrough for him. All right. Why do they look different in real life? Oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. Now, yep. Carrigan doing the T-sided orping here is Ooh. probably a surprise for a lot. That's a quick mid to beast moment. This is isn't a straight it? out middle. Look, aggressive look play him from go. him. But it will be a B hit here. So the finish is going to be over towards the other side of the map. Crims has to deal with Beamus here before he can help. Flusher just pulls the trigger at the most perfect moment. And he's got more where that came from. The flash is going to catch Carrigan. A smoke to keep himself safe. Finally plucked his head from his shoulders, but the damage is done. Three remain. Bimus could be up for some trouble here, but loses a great deal of health in his first exchange. Golden should find Carrigan, but another frag for the Danish in-game leader. A one versus two on the favorable site. Bomb down during the flash. And Carrigan on the AWP. You love to see it. There's a chance here. That smoke's gonna isolate Crims. Oh, he knows where both are. Yeah, now he can start the cogs turning. That's the jewel he needed. Flash though. Where's the push? Is Crims coming from window? Has Carrigan got the reactions or the premonition? He can chill. Time's on his side. Low HP though, Crims. Where on earth is he? This X-ray's getting me nervous. Okay. Time is important. Molotov misses and Carrigan doesn't. Fantastic work as Mouse Sports maintain. A clutch, a 1v2, low HP, and he got the two into the site as well. So good that I think one of the mouse sports players had to disconnect. Couldn't believe I think, it. I think he spilt all of his Mountain Dew all over his keyboard. He stood up, it went everywhere, and uh, we're probably going to be having a, a bit of a But look how this out. started, Chad. You remember this? Double kill. Let's the smoke. So this is a 3v5, then Carrigan walks into the site and gets has to deal with a flying golden, plucks him out. JW aggressing just in the momentary gap before the flash was to pop. And then just shoulder peaks, advantage on the right eye. Yes, Chris J's going to have you happy with that one. I, I think this is very interesting to note because we're taking notes on Mouseport and what we're learning, right? Yes. And the team in the past, Woxic was doing the primary orping. Right? That's the way it went. 
Chris Jowards with the secondary orping. Carrigan in the past, he's been on the big green, you know, but we're rolling back he's the doubled. years here. We're rolling doubled. back the years. Now, if you've been following Carrigan in recent times, he's been streaming a little bit more. He's been getting uh, his face out there on the interwebs, on the personal variety, and orping and clutches. That's been some of the reels that he's been posting on out there. So maybe really actually spending a lot of time working on this side of his game. And as an in-game leader, who we normally attest to being a space maker, taking a lot of risks for the team, he can now still do that, but with a weapon, which might make him uh, more viable. More potent, yeah. It's a bit early for me to be, uh, you know, starting to work out the entire Mouse Sports new plan of attack. Remember, this team only recently going through changes, having some big woes. Last year, they were the top of the pops, right? They were mouse sports, one of the best teams in the world, and then it's just been a slow descent. I mean, there are very few players that I think that the entire community agree on as being, you know, kind of volatile, like mm. Chris J. Like, Chris J is this perfect enigma where just as you start to doubt him, he drops 30 frags when he's with only a deagle and no Kevlar every round, and you're like, okay. Oh, that was man. wild. Yeah, but and, and then you'll have a, a performance where it looks like he's not even trying and he's just running into pillars and it's like, okay, so, you know, what? It, he is an enigma for many. But what this man can contribute to a team, it's just a wealth of experience. Oh, oh, oh. Flush is gone already. Straight out of his clutch, straight out of the timeout, and straight into another early frag. This favoring mouse sports once again. Poor old Golden. He's been magnificent through the smoke and he continues to pepper them. Watch this. 45 HP. He's anticipating a push through. Softened him up for his scout and does get the first. He could even get Rops here. Not too far off. Backup arrives in JW. The bomb's on his way to a wide open A. He's called the rotation. Yeah, that's perfect. heard this. If Mouse Sports skedaddle, if they clear their corners quickly, they can make it towards that A side. There's two players to deal with. Crims is going to be in position. So is Brolin. Oh, God, this is all about... Oh! He had a real chance there. Carrigan caught sleeping, but Bemis can tidy things up, as can Frozen and the rest. That remains is going to be doing some scavenging. Looks like JW has taken Chris J's AK for a spin. See if they can get any more damage done here. Need to get some more frags on the board, especially for JW. Such an impact player. So that AK could be huge, but Rob's could be even huger. Taking down JW from behind. A nice, easy kill. Nothing to write home about, but Golden has something to say. I love Golden. Like, don't sleep on Golden. Yeah, he's been looking hot lately. Don't sleep on Golden. Honestly, he was the shining light in, in Fnatic's first victory versus Team Spirit. And it seems he may be required again. He's probably been the, the most inspiring in the first eight rounds of play. We saw what he was doing when they were doing their smokes on the long take. Just wild crosshair placement through the smoke. And again, a threat, but not enough this time. Well, that's when we, when we ravel back and we look at how we've gotten to this point. Fnatic, they were looking good within the early stages. But then we have Mouse Sports bouncing back. The Force Spy is looking good. They are able to... They got to, so much cash. Yeah, they can weather the Force Spy. And then they, the, the Carrigan Clutch is actually the most dramatic of the whole situation. Because them winning the long rounds against the Force Spies, yeah, that's fine. You're expected to get those ones. But the fact that he wins that Clutch round and it puts them up and puts Fnatic down to a situation where they cannot buy... That's a huge... That's a pivot round. That could be the game running away from Fnatic here. And we're just in the early stages. Uh, it's a good sync between Flusher getting nonsense through the door and the fan not being happy with it. Different smoke, different approach. Not going to get caught out this time. And guising the amount Three of here. there. Yes, yeah, it's going to be a very chaotic start. Crims holding down Mouse 1. He was expecting a lot more. But early casualty this time favoring Fnatic, and it's going to get better for them. Brolin takes out Frozen. Oh, SJ does very well to find the head of Brolin. That was his escape route just being manufactured there. This kills everything. Rops could get out of here, but he wants to hang around in the smoke. Well, the mid to B would feel really good, and I wonder if how much false info... No, Flush is way too smart. Watch him just sit in this corner now. If he peeks this... Oh, he's, oh, he's heard. the sound cue. Oh, they're not going to clear this angle. Not, are they? It's such a tight corner. One. And not the second. Chris J trying to keep fighting. Golden hunting, though. You can hear the sound cues. He knows Chris J's knife out. Oh! oh but Chris, it's the no-scope! We're playing video games now. It was looking like a Fnatic guarantee. Chris Chase just rocked the boat. I told you he could. Three kills, on for an ace. Rops in support. Look how scared they are that Rops is still around middle. Yeah. Crims is still postured looking. JW has to clear the doors. They can't worry about Chris Chase until they do with Rops, and the time is ticking away. There's no diffuse kit between oh, these two. Oh, no. The amount of rounds. Can we make a replay package? I'll let, I will literally say it out loud. Okay. To production. I'll do it in a second. Let the, let's finish this round. Hang on. <laughs> 
Crim through the window. That's the first threat. Chris could be threatened here. Nice handling from Rops. His first contribution, but JW, no kit. What's his plan here? There is a kit on the site, I suppose. He's just trying to keep him on the site, keep Chris contained, try and make sure that orc doesn't come with him. He could, would be safe by the bricks, but all safe, I think, in terms of 54. But yeah, that Rops scout round. Yes. Kerrigan's clutch. Yes. And this one. Yeah, Kerrigan Anything through the else? door just to Carrigan add a little bit of, of salt on the Those wound. Those are the four. Okay, anyone got a pen and paper in production? That's what we're talking about in the post game. Uh, that's it. Those are those are the frags. Those are the rounds right there, which you're going to probably tilt Fnatic and force yes. them to be having what is a tactical timeout here. So look at this slew of rounds. Absolutely phenomenal stuff here from Mouse Sports within the early stages. It's so difficult to know how to measure these Wait, teams. Excuse me, Rops. Now, okay, it's only nine rounds, Alex. You have to do that thing where you do the maths. Wait, let's double check that. But if that's correct, that's... No. No. Well, I'm going to say it is. I think he's just had a ridiculous start. Spraying, nading. It's possible. Yeah. 200 average damage per round. For any newer viewers, ADR, one of my favorite statistics. Just a really good metric. It takes 100 to kill someone. I don't, I, I don't think it's right. It can't be right. No, I think it's... 200 I think, seems a bit absurd. I think 100, 100 yeah. is, is fantastic. Uh, 120 is probably more realistically what he like is. That would mean he right was there. killing two people per round. Yeah. And we've had nine rounds, so we'd have 18 kills. Yeah, and he'd have a, in that case, he'd have a bunch more assists, wouldn't he? So, Unless they don't die when he... Ooh. Anyway, double op set up on the Fnatic side of things here. Flusher picking one up, JW with the other. The saved AWP coming across, the org back out, UMP in the hands of Crims. And once again, just a nice little spread from Mouse Sports. No clear indication of where they want to be going early, but the bomb outside tunnels does suggest that implies, B may be the finish. It does. But the three man B lean from Fnatic at this point right here could be impactful. The flash on Golden might come through on the sound cube, but I'm not sure if there will be one. Oh, here it is. Surely he releases his flash in return. That gets Crims out of dodge, but it's an early exchange. Very interested to see how this one continues to play out, given the success they've had at B. And the fact that there is the double orbs in play, limited util. The longer this round goes, the higher in favor this goes to Mouseport's way. So again, all that util has a smoke as well, just pulled out. Carrigan can't believe his luck. So clearing mid doors again, just to make sure nobody got up close and personal. Smoke towards CT spawn to force the rotation. Crims has to play forward, but nobody's home. That information could be great here as the bomb is coming through lower dark. Crims, he could be spoiler, pushing forward. Rops, knife caught out here, but still makes the frag. Rops converting. Oh my goodness, JW just playing with fire. He has to tag Carrigan and he is up for the fight, up for the duel. Put him up, 25 seconds. What do they do? A flash, that's all right. Little bit of space. Bimus, Bimus, damn it. Does get himself one, Rops into the side. There's a chance here, Chad. This could really be another oh. turnaround from Mouse. A missed shot from Flusher. The flash to suppress. It will be the two of them, Golden and Flusher, splitting from CT in short if they desire. That's what they're going for. Chris J to contain this fight. Dirty HP as well. Surely Flusher will solve this riddle with plenty of time to spare. Oh, Chris is tucking in. Hiding the barrel, all that good stuff. I don't like this, he surely gets it. Yes, nice play from Flusher, phenomenal, but Golden's fallen down. They know where he's coming from and there is just no time. Mouse sports, these, these circumstances that often start looking a little, little problematic, recovered time after time. Bemis with the double kill into the site alongside Rops. Yeah, the fact that they were still able to whittle that site down when time was low, it was just pressure on that point and they had to hit the heads. That was just mere Mouse sports taking jewels and winning them. There's not too much finesse to that situation. The AWP will be saved. At least there's one positive to carry on forward. Different types of sunglasses coming out from the gang here today. Everyone uh, looking specky. So a mouse spots 9-1 up on the T side of their map choice, Dust2. A buy will be cobbled together from Fnatic here. Decent. It's serviceable. They can make it work. And again, there's just no pressure on... Long needed for these gun rounds, but they're still able to... Bumblebee, bee mass, bumblebee, bee mass. Crims is so sure. How is he not dead? How did they not swing a trade? Crims has got two, he almost gets the third there onto Rops, unable to convert with the Famous. Whoa, there's no way they turn this one around. Not another well, one. Right? Not, not again. Another one. Not again, no, no, not allowed. This is a clean one. It should be clean, Rops. Oh, he's... 
Certainly not someone I'm willing to write out of the round. A good smoke as well to enable some space. A flash to buy some time. Bronn won't be able to close the gap, I don't think. Down cues. They're coming for him. Hunting him. He's cautious of short. Needs to be problematic. It's Brolin. Does manage to convert in the end and will recover all they need. So Fnatic finally breaking Mouse Sports down just a little bit, but they'll take their time to recover all the goodies. Yeah, and that was Crimson's multi-kill on short, really making that one possible. Slowing down that attack. Brolin being able to mitigate any issues over towards long with the MP9 perfectly placed. And the weapons have been saved and carried across. But for Fnatic, two rounds. Nothing to be riding home about just yet. Mouse sports are sitting pretty. I can't say, like, money things with conviction yet, Chad. Okay. But, like, let's just theoretically talk about it now. All right. They've got, like, 10 to 13K sure. on that T side. Could I say Mouse sports will have a buy for the rest of the game, for the rest of this half? If they continue to plant. You need a little okay. caveat. Do you need a little... Yeah. Okay, so I need to make sure I say that bit. extra Yeah, bit. because their lost bonus is bottom of the barrel. Yeah, so it's re just because they've fin finally lost one. Yeah. First lost bonus. So now, because you know. of the stage that we're in, it's going to take a little bit longer to trickle up. But if they are getting the plant, then they should be able to keep their money. Just dusting. Okay. Yeah. But it's going to be a, a straight out mid, a B execute here. So smokes are coming in. Another molly to slow them down. Rotation is impossible because look where Carrigan is. Yep. Oh my God. He can just hold the line. Take that. <gasps> okay. Golden's dealt with that one prong. The rest coming in strong. He's going to throw out a smoke. Flusher for survival. It's looking promising, but BMAS already finds the first. Flusher. Well handled around his own smoke, but he deployed a double kill. Trying to keep up with Crimson, the kill feed oh. now rops again, just as his vision's restored. This is going to be a brawl, Chad. Good molly, they're not... In the I think bomb. they plant, right? This is... Oh, he's going in. The smoke, this is big. And rops can't do anything, but the bomb does go down. Beamass being a hero again. Brolin. Crosshair was positioned the right way. This is terrifying. This is terrifying. Some of the scariest, youngest aimers in the server, both juking it out. Oh. And it's Brolin that takes down Beamass. He'll take that. He'll take any weapon he desires into the next. And Fnatic do manage to string a couple together. That's such an awkward fight for Brolin to have to be in. Well, for Beamass as well, because you think about it, Beamass is like, well, if I stay with my head down for too long, he can walk up on me and get a better angle. Brolin's sitting there thinking, window, as soon as I drop off these boxes, or if I move, he might step up and I die. So it's almost like a stalemate. Like as they're both, both driving towards yeah. each other, playing chicken. Playing chicken, precisely. And Brolin there just keeping and sticking his ground. The youngster able to convert. And that's the third round for Fnatic here. So that's what we want to see is... Nice hair, dude. Yeah, we... Oh. Did you ever bleach your hair? No, I've, I've always just um, been sad. I couldn't really do much with my hair. I mean, bleach is the only option, but yeah. it's not really my jam. No, I, I never did it either. I, I've kept it always pretty similar. Sun bleaching, but... Um, yeah, that one too. It's a different style of things, I suppose. This looks like it might be a late long pounce. Hi guys, welcome to Carrigan Smoke Tutorials. Today we're going to be learning the corner long smoke on the little black dot, top of the palm tree, and a left click. You see that forces off JW and Brolin's Look corner. where Flusher is. And yeah, good point. Fantastic point. He's going to be working his way behind him at a breakneck speed. It won't matter if his teammates are dead, but Brolin's made sure that's not going to happen. Another flash though, that's the next sentence. Everybody's flashed, everybody's fragging flushes on the fastest of flanks. Oh, if only with an MP9. This has really got a timer on it. Chris J traded out. Crim's on the site. Pressured by Frozen. Golden swings in and adjusts nicely. Flush is coming. He is. Carrigan's in trouble. He can get both of them here. Frozen has got one, but perfectly trading out back and forth. Crim's on the A site. So the last man standing. Nine corpses littering long. One of the frustrating things to have to play against with mouse sports is their smoke gimmicks. And what I mean by that is not the way that they use their smokes, but the way that they exploit the smoke. So you will see there Chris J limping through that smoke, knowing that his teammates are going to be coming through the other side and it'll be catching the players of Fnatic off guard. They did it earlier on the B bomb site, Chris and Rops. They both tried to walk through either side of the smoke. And that's just to take people off guard while they think that smoke is acting as a wall. And a lot of the time it's a bit of a gateway and a doorway to attack. And out they go behind their own flashes. Chris J in the pit already. That's forced this long hold of Fnatic all the way back to the side. They need a boost, they need to recalibrate because guess who's setting up for the standard play? Now sports all five dotted across long right now. And here we go again, JW onto Carrigan. Yeah, actively holding that really pays dividends. And Chris J wants to take that fight. Oh! Damn, Chris has got his goggles on today. What a shot, Orpa downs. He's got the smoke for the cross. And he will deploy it. Wow, that's opened up the round completely. 
Rops is once again doing what Rops does best. He's got a little short rotate on lock. Crims is already there though, and Beamus will force him off his perk. Now Rops arrives and such a clinical, precise Jeez. execution. Give us a four. It's only Flusher reaction speed test at this point. He's won the round for his squad, the young Estonian. Just Flusher. Oh! Oh my god, he could actually get another one. Chris J lined up. Might go for this now. Yeah, nearly collateral. Oh, you'd have to get a move on right now, so maybe okay. Flusher thinking the better of this. Yeah, I think you might be on. But I mean, just had that lined up, I think you're absolutely right. That's knife out to the site territory, but my goodness, was that close. Chris probably going to be giggling about that one. Rob's just destroyed them there. Didn't he? Living but why did that just look gallery. so comfortable? He just barely has to adjust his mouse. I guess that's the crosshair placement. Knew where they had to be. Chris J started us off with the shot onto JW. You can see he still looks a bit stunned after that one. And so we have it, the final round of the first half of our fifth day here in the 12th season of ESL Pro League and already 10 rounds found from Mousepot. This is what he was up to. He's looking for the AWP. They're trying to shoot the AWP in his direction. Ooh. And meanwhile, he hits that. That is insane. Chris is... <laughs> Yeah. He knows how ridiculous that was. He was just trying to get the AWP to take a fair fight. Yeah. That wasn't fair at all. It's not fair. Online J strikes again. Oh, dear. Okay, we'll back away. And fanatic. Well, bit of a menagerie of a buy right here. <sighs> yeah. Never fun when I see five sevens and deagles in the final round of play. Certainly as a primary. Five could be important, though. And guess what? JW kicked things off with aggression long on the pistol round. He's trying to do things on the last round of the half like that, too. Flash over the top. He gets the opening. So JW the spoiler. That was lovely. And this is a perfect job for the 5-7. It's one shot headshot at that range. And Beamus feels the brunt of that. Chris, just mad, man. Charges through the smoke. They're going to do it in true Fnatic style. It's Deagles and Pistols. A necessary fifth. We'll take a quick moment to catch our breath. We'll be right back with your second half.
Adventure on Dust 2 and Chris J playing what? Rock, paper, scissors with us? Oh, he, is. he just dropped the graphic, I suppose. But regardless, you can see his trophy cabinet above his head flushes on your screens. He's in the server. Myself and Sponge hanging out here in the studio. Live from Cologne. They're live from, well, wherever they want to be, actually. I suppose that's the power of the internet. Probably Sweden and... and well, at various countries. other countries. Uh, uh, now sports is a little harder to uh, pinpoint. What do we got? The Netherlands. Yep. Uh, we have Robs from Estonia. Estonia. I'm really bad at the one. Is, is it Lithuania? Yes, I believe so. I'm really bad yes. at the one where uh, um, Rosen? Rosen is from. Slovakia. It's the same as uh, Guardian. Okay. And there Slovakia we go. He's from the Guardian country. Kerrigan's from Denmark. And then Denmark. Esto I love how. I, lo I do love the idea of an international. I know you're anti it, but just. I'm not looking, anti. I know, but looking at all these people speaking their second language and being Coming completely together, different humans different and. Coming walks of life. Yeah, they'd never have met otherwise and now united in pursuit of one common goal. It's very romantic. Let's turn it into a movie. I would love that. Bemis on to J Dubs. No more chance for him to contribute. That's his 12th death conceded into our 16th. And I need to bring up my mini map thingy, Majiki. All right, all right. Well, why you do that, Brolin? He's been finding an exchange onto Rob. So we've leveled up to a 4v4 very, very quickly. A minute 25, roughly, on the clock here. There's a flash over towards Long. Golden trying to take some space, but he'll have to clear the bin. Oh, Chris wants to stand around, and they do try and clear it with bodies. Beamers puts in bullets. You can have the Glock as well. I don't know if he uh, needs that one so quickly as Crims is going to tuck tail, turn around, and... I'll dip on back to his teammate to have mid and short control. They need to find a duel. They need to find a fight. And Flusher, he's on top of it. A dink onto Frozen. He has to think better of this. But Carrigan, right place, right time. That was lovely. Frozen retreating the right move. And Carrigan would have heard of that, surely. Definitely. So he's sandwiched between both of them. Ops for the push makes sense. Long flank. They are low. And you're right. Frozen all the way around the doors. We'll keep rolling. Distracted, not if Chris J's got the frag already and Frozen could just wait. Listen to this. He's so desperate to check him. All the sound oh. cues, all the sound cues. Frozen didn't want to go for the knife kill. Now Crims could find a headshot. Oh. My God, that was very, very realistic. Yeah, if he got away with that, look at the HP. Frozen and that of BMAS were very, very low right there. That was possible if uh -huh. Crims had just a split second more to duck through those doors and find another fight, but it's not to be. Mouse Sports, they win their CT side of pistol. And I think the option here from Fnatic traditionally, there we go, almost instantaneous frags going on down there and a big one, a big one to win. Now, I think that we'll probably see Fnatic go for the eco when they don't get the plant on their T sides. They do enjoy a bit of a economical, so they get those AKs up in the following. Makes a lot of sense. Whoever's got a bit more extra cash can treat themselves with Desert Eagle. In this instance, we have Crims trying to... Uh find any nonsense. Of course, we saw how the fifth round was found for Fnatic, and that was off scouts and five Please, seven. Ghiblis. Ghiblis. Thank you, Chadney. Now, there's a world where Crims can find at least one headshot, but that was his element of surprise. Now squandered, short addressed. Not a single drop of blood shed here in round 17. And there really shouldn't be too much of an instance uh, for all mouse sports to fret. No, this should be a relatively clean round. The only way this falls apart is if someone over peaks and a rifle gets picked up and then some kills snowball from there. So Crims has to lead this one through. Being tagged on up. Maybe he'll drop that deagle across. No, he won't. So it falls now. BMAS, he can call this out. He doesn't need to panic. Just tapping away with the P250. Eventually he gets taken down, but as we were mentioning, this is a difficult round to win with only the pistols and the damage being done on one kill. Well, they wanted a bit more. They would have loved to plant. They would have really loved a round win because Mouse Sports about to lock up 12. And we are running away with this one here today, ladies and gentlemen. Goodness me. Yeah, it could be a quick day in the office, Chad. First one of uh, many international bouts here. The following game will be the Ninjas in Pajamas representing Sweden, taking on complexity, representing the world. Yeah. So we've got two of them back to back your Mouse Sports and then your complexity. So you can. Well, phase as well, three. Oh, goodness, you're right. We've got one international team up against a domestic opponent every time. So here are those AKs I was talking about, and Fnatic taking a page out of Mouse Ooh, Sports. Carry on. That's a very, very ambitious play. Bit of a uh, counter call. It hasn't quite worked out well. But regardless, not one to squander a lead. Fnatic trying to continue, and they do a flurry of frags elsewhere on the map, but Flusher into an easy find as well. Poor old Chris J. Not much he can do here. If he was to win the duel on Flusher, really definitely give him some room to maneuver and a weapon to do so, but just down to 73 as he does find the first. Crims has him locked in here. This should be an easy finish, and there she goes. So 
Fnatic bounce back. Six on the board. Six more to go to tie things up. That's a good start. For Mouse Sports, it wasn't a full-on bonus round. As you can see, they can't purchase going into this one. A bit light on funds. Curious to see if they just want to go for a partial investment across the board here. Everybody besides Rops could be upgrading a pistol. Maybe getting some Kevlar. Rops has actually gone for the Zeus. Smoke on Carrigan. Nothing crazy going into round number 19. And information will be garnered for Golden very quickly. A truckload of flashes over the top. He'll get out, sees nothing's home. And then at this point, Crims, he's the danger man. He needs to be careful dealing with his rotations. Carrigan's going to get licked up by the flames. And all five are over towards the B side of the map until Carrigan tucks himself into spawn. They're looking crispy now with the AKs out. It's starting to come alive. Yeah, certainly not going to be the easiest path for the next four that they require. This one should just be the Fnatic team keeping them, getting the confidence flowing. You know, the way in which JW's lining these up is certainly promising, with they being a nuisance. There it is. <laughs> Drops really wants to get this uh, Zeusy boy working. I don't know if JW is going to want to jump into the, uh, the jaws of that Zeus. All right, JW just recalibrating his aim right there. Gang, gang, gang. Pringles. Once you pop, you can't stop, right? He's, he's smashing them I away. I like to put like t at least minimum three on, my, mouth at once. on my tongue at once. For you ever do like the flavor. duck thing? Yeah, oh, absolutely. And you put your tongue through it, it looks really weird. Yeah. yeah. Good flavor though, you get salt. Good, good coating of your sodium. Now, I'm intrigued to know what this fast awful. Xbox smoke move is going to entail. Seeing JW take early control towards tons. You're seeing Crim set up for, ooh, on the other side of the long smoke. That's quite cheeky. This tree's gonna have a look, perhaps. He's playing anti-flash at the moment. I wonder where this one goes. They were trying to bait Krim, someone to peek into Crim's on the other side of that smoke. They'll throw out a fresh one, though, you hear, leaving the hands. Waited for the sound cue. Unloaded a couple of bullets, but no real progress made. Bit of a different approach of taking long right there from Mouse Sports. I like how diligent they remain, not giving up any opening jewels, not showing any leg unnecessarily. And now over towards B, it's going to be frozen in Rops. Having to deal with a little bit of a fate coming out from JW. They're going to commit on this? A lot of space is taken. This is dangerous. Yeah. The CTs aren't moving a muscle, though. Rops tucked in on those bricks. They could pincer B here. And yeah, they might do that now. Frozen, the last man, the last pillar of this mouse force defense. He's just been chipped away at. Does find one. A lot more where that came from, though. He's got so many targets. Oh, Frozen! Triple kill. Keeps them in it. A viable retake presented to them, but it's still the B-site does too. It's still not going to be fun. Kit on Carrigan and a flash on him as well. He might try and get him through that smoke. Try and isolate the jewel just a little bit. This is the flash. Golden, very vulnerable to this one. B mess with the smoke tons as well. Oh, and a flash in return. Fnatic are playing this brilliantly. Golden pre-firing an AWP for the retake. It's far from ideal, and yeah, looks like it's all on oh! the BMAS. First frozen, now BMAS. These young guns secure the round for Mouse Sports, and it looked so good for Fnatic initially. I thought Golden had done enough there. The right? Molotov from the car position changing, taking Carrigan out of the equation, getting a little bit overzealous with that duel and Bemis. Well, he is going to punish. He's in no man's land. Golden on the fight, not able to control his spray as diligently right there. And Chris J loving it today. He's looking at everybody at home. Wow. I, that, that was quite a fantastic turnaround. These multi fraggers. Multi kills. If you check the stats on those two, I wonder how they've uh, been adding up. Because I know Rob started started with two triple kill rounds, so I'm sure he's already up there in the multi frags. Let me double check. But as we seven get on into Rops it, right seven. Now. Thank yeah. you. And Chris is onto his iconic deagle in the full bite. This time. Ah, uh, yes, the vintage. Yes, the classic. Fnatic do have the guns out, and they do already have mid control. Short looks like it's the next on the shopping list, and. Now sports look like they're, well, not willing to give it up. It's nice to put Frozen on the headshot angle when he's so low. Oh, okay. There's a lot of fighting going on right here. Now sports are always trying to be in the face of Fnatic, going for fights, going for duels, never backing on down. 
That's how that fray and flurry of kills went down with Crimson Carrigan exchange in middle. JW is looking good at the moment, hitting some nice shots. Has the AWP out, bomb out towards long. So this here, with the control that they have, might just end up in an A piece. Do you need to courier that bomb along catwalk? Chris J. He has absolutely found and struck some bloody gold right there. The bomb is down and destabilized once more. They have to worry about this position. Yeah, look, look what away. it's done to them. The, 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 the T's were so spread out. It seems like the communication has been when we're on CT side, when you have intuition, when you think you see a gap, take it. Take it. Because you can see what it does to Fnatic. Because they are so spread out, because it's a sporadic and mid round calling at times. Chris J just completely sabotages all of that. Maybe the plan involved JW. Maybe he was a, con a crucial component. And now a 3v4. So what, 24 on the clock. Demus, safe and sound for now. Flashes. He will be closed in on. Chris J is to protect on that ramp. And looks like Frozen and Beamus have done enough again. Poor rolled flusher. Just being pulled across this map and another double. 14 for Mouse. We are on track to see Mouse's map pick go rather swiftly in their direction. They're down to the uh, bottom of the barrel now. You can see that will, there's going to be some sacrifices for Flusher and Crims. Not too easy there after those opening frags came on through. Taking JW out of the equation, he's been explosive in a couple of these T-sided gun rounds to get them onto sites. And oh, I'm loving what we're seeing from Mouse Sports. They're really getting stuck into things. It's not that deflated looking team that we had a little bit earlier in the year. They're looking like they are loving what's going on in the server. And so they should be 14 to seven. Fnatic, again, needing to find an opening, needing to find a way in. Bring a nuisance over towards B is flush up. Over towards long is where the attack was going to... Is Chris going to push in through this, or is he just going to sit and wait? Boosting Brolin up, Golden up. Has to be careful as he peers over this box. If they go for the two-man boost, Chris is going to own them here. He's going to have... Oh, the timing. I don't know where that frag even came from. JW's just walked up just, short. What is going on? Just walked up short. The site's clear. Now Chris has got to defend the whole site. JW's swinging in from long side, though. This is madness. What's going on? Chris J gets two of them as they leave long. Just when it looks like... Oh, oh, he can't make a decision. Smokes it down for the cross. Take one of them. To the AWP. Okay, getting across now. Okay, we live in a chaotic Counter-Strike world. And now, Rops from long, Frozen from short, Bemis from CT. A flash to get him out of there. They're coming from three different angles. Oh, it's no. so hard to contain. Poor old Brolin now. He just can't, he hasn't got three uh, three pairs of eyes. What's he supposed to do? Isolates the first. Rob does go down, but immediately caught out by Frozen. And that's another fantastic round converted by Mouse Sports. I thought JW had found so much space. Immense so amount of space. space. Chris J though, he does tuck in enough to completely remove two players from that long side hit. I'd love to see that one again. Yeah, look at this. Up against the odds, alone, swinging in from long as well. And he manages to get two of the three. Yeah, laser focus right there. That's huge from Chris hitting some of these real impact frags. Mouse spots are seeming a bit, a little bit like, I, I've never been attacked by a beehive, but I can imagine that it might feel like this a little bit because they're constantly just coming in from different angles, yeah. different fights, always Bombs pressure. so frustrating. You never know where to look. You right. never know where they're going to be. And Fnatic now, it's just going to be over towards, well, the B site. Ha. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Grim's often good at finding gaps. But JW, who's better? No one's better. Look at his position. An unchecked T. Looking into the B site from the new doors. It's just a matter of time before he finds something here. The smoke towards the doors is now. JW's about to walk through that window. Frozen and Rops are going to have no idea. No, no. No, no. Now's not the time for knifing. Now. 15, oh, no. Oh, oh no. no. Recovers it. Great strafe. Finishes it up. Opens it up the site. That should be Fnatic walking into the open B site and collecting a round. Now sports have no reason not to call a save here. Look where Crims is as well. So he's already locked them on in. So if they do try and exit through T-Spawn, they can be taken on down. But Fnatic, they definitely needed to post one. You don't need to be a mathematician to work on out that if Mouse Sports won this round, it would have been GG. They're keeping their head above water, posting eight on the board. Careful when you say those what letters, Chad. Which letters? GG. Oh. G -g. Yeah, better, safer. You might find one here. Ooh. 
Do it. Do it. Would he? Do it. Nah, BMS won't move. He doesn't need to. Nah, he's tight. He's staying tight. Wow, a little standoff. All that, right. That was JW finding space. JW has, on these T rounds, been instrumental in either getting a lot of opening kills or getting a lot of space that they've been able to capitalize on. And surprisingly, they haven't actually converted with all of the space he's given because of the multi kills on the mouse sport side of things. It's strange. Got out mid. And he's got onto a site within 30 seconds of the, off the he's break. He's just biffing. He's yeah. just taking the intuition, Maybe. as you put it, and, and running with it. Oh, that's a little bit of a missed smoke for the fake over towards Long there. So that's going to hinder Crims a bit. But looks like they're going for the direct B play again. If they go now, it's going to be a two on four situation. But it is Rops and Frozen. A lot to deal with here for Fnatic if they want to continue the game. Round 24, Smokes and Flash is about to come over. This is it. This is the cue. Frozen drops off, looking to. Bait in his teammate Rob. Survival integral. He does catch a glimpse of one over the smoke, and they do manage to win this 2v4 out. But Golden eventually does manage to lock down the site. Plant should be theirs. Crims to hold them back. Demas is fast. First time I've really got to see him and commentate him firsthand. Really nice to see a consistent rifler winning his angels, especially when he's caught unawares. Lots of utility for this retake here. Mouse sports are sitting pretty right now. Smokes for tunnels if they want. Molotovs for the back of the site. And Cinderace are plenty and flashes galore. Last hiding by the box, he's burning as well. That's a sound cue and a dink. Can't move. Of course he gets the dink from Beamer. Oh. Carrigan gets the USP in perfect utility usage. Teamwork, dreamwork, etc. 16 to 8 on Mouse Sports.